This is calculator question number 22 from the March 2019 SAT exam. College Board asks about the graph of an exponential function passing through these three points. So let's sketch that graph. If I have x and y, and I know I go through 0, 1, 1, 4, and 2, something very high, I know an exponential function looks something like this. And I can certainly draw a line that does not intersect, which is choice A. A horizontal line with a negative y value will not intersect. Choice B, a line can be drawn that intersects the graph at exactly one point. A horizontal line with a positive y value will intersect at exactly one point. Choice C, a line can, can be drawn that intersects the graph at exactly two points. If I choose, for example, this point and that point, I have a line that intersects at exactly two points. For any x value bigger than this one, my line will be below the exponential. For any x value smaller than this one, my line will again be below the exponential. So I can do choice A, but they're asking which is not true. So A is the wrong answer. I can do choice B, but they said which is not true. And I can do choice C. Can a line be drawn that intersects at exactly three points? First of all, I've eliminated the other choices, so that must be right. And second, I see that I can't draw any line that intersects at three points because we should be familiar with the shape of an exponential. If we're not familiar, we can go to our graphing calculator and ask it to graph any exponential. This is actually y equals 4 to the x, but I can graph any exponential and looking at the shape of the graph, it's clear that I can intersect 0, 1, or 2 times, but I don't see any opportunity to intersect 3 times. College Board often asks you about the graph of an ex exponential function. I'll post a link to a playlist of related questions once I have more videos on this topic, and come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.